Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how people can easily gather information about you using a technique called Open Source Intelligence OSINT. OSINT is a way to gather information about individuals or organizations from free public sources. The information source can be a website, newspaper, social media, public court documents, voter information record, and many more. It's scary easy how this information can be gathered. OSINT is a form of passive reconnaissance. When considered separately, the little pieces of information gathered may seem unrevealing, but when they are put together, the data may tell a big story about you, your opinions, routine, interest, political ideology, family, lifestyle, and many more. That said, this video is for educational purposes only. Never use information gathered through OSINT for any illegal activity to avoid getting into trouble. It's illegal to hack someone else's account without consent. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's get started. OSINT may start with a simple Google search for a target. Yes, you heard me right, a Google search. But I won't search the normal way people do. I will use some special operators to get Google to reveal more information than normal. This technique is called Google Hacking or Google Docking. Assuming we are looking for information on someone, let's use a placeholder name like John Doe. I can go to Google and do a quick search like this. You can see I performed the Google search the normal way many of us will do it. Now, let's perform the search again using some search operators. Let's say I want to search for John Doe on only publicly available PDF or Word documents. I will enter this syntax in my Google search and hit enter to perform the search. You can see the search returned mostly PDF data from various sources, both government and non-governmental sources. If I want to restrict my search to only government-related sources in the US, I will add in URL operator to my previous search as you can see here. This filters the search to only URL that contains .gov. What if I want the results from only government sources in New York? Well, I'll add the site operator to my initial search. This filters the search to only ny.gov websites. There are so many things you can do with Google Hacking, many of which have been well documented on this website called Google Hacking Database. You can take a look at the website yourself. I'll put the link in the description section. You may also perform searches on other search engines like Yandex, Bing, Yahoo, and Ask. Let's move on to the next OSINT technique. If you obtain email address of your target through Google hacking or other means, you can learn more about the target by performing reverse email lookup using websites like Spokio.com or Apios.com. With Spokio, you can search for the target's email ID. With this, you can find more about your target's online profiles, social media profile, and online dating profiles that are linked to this email address and learn more about the lifestyle of John Doe. It's insane how much details that can be gathered through this technique. You can also go to this website, haveibeenpawned.com, to see the data breaches your target email has been involved in. Let's talk about reverse phone lookup technique. In addition to Spokio and Apios, you can perform reverse phone lookup using anywho.com or dasdem.com. For dasdem.com, you can click the phone tab, enter phone number of your target, and perform your search. With this, you can learn more about your target. If there are more than one person linked to the phone number, you can run background search on the individuals. You can learn a lot via this technique. Next, you can perform social media account search. Social media account search is one of the techniques used in social media intelligence, also called segment. Social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp, and TikTok are great tools when it comes to social media intelligence. With more than 10 billion monthly active users across these top platforms, social media networks provide a wealth of information. Checkusernames.com 
or socialsearcher.com can be handy when you want to search for target full name or username across multiple sources at the same time. This saves you a lot of time since you don't have to perform the search one platform at a time. You can also use socialcatfish.com to perform background checks on social media networks, including reverse image search. Speaking of reverse image search, if you have a picture of your target, you can upload the picture or provide a link to it on images.google.com and Google will perform reverse image search to match the picture to other similar images on the web and provide you with more information about the target. If there is an identifiable structure at the background of the picture, Google can even provide more details about the geographical location of the structure based on other structures on the internet. You can also upload pictures of your target to pmice.com or tni.com and the website will use their AI facial recognition capabilities to search the web and match other similar faces and provide more details about online activities of the target. There are a lot more we can discuss when it comes to OSINT, but we will end the video here for now. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it informative. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click the like button. Also press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.